Hello my little readers, welcome back to the Story Treasure and today we are going to read The Lightning Key series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Prichada. So let's get started. Kipper looked outside. Look how windy it is, he said. Can we go to the park and fly our kite? That's a great idea, said Biff. Dad shook his head. Sorry, he said. I'm afraid we can't fly your kite today. The weather forecast says there's going to be a storm. I don't mind getting wet, said Kipper. We can wear raincoats. The rain isn't the problem, said Dad. The lightning is the problem. Lightning is electricity and it's very dangerous. The children went upstairs. Biff's room grew darker as the storm came closer. Suddenly, the key began to glow. Chip grabbed the key. It's time for an adventure, he said. Where is the magic going to take us this time, wondered Kipper. The key took them to a road outside a little shop. A horse was tied up nearby. It looks as if we are gone back in time, said Biff. Suddenly, a young man rushed out. His arms were full and he didn't notice the children until he ran right into Chip. Sorry, cried the young man. He began to pick up all the stuff that he had dropped. The children helped. Here is your string, said Chip. And here is your kite and key, said Biff. Thanks, said the young man. He quickly began packing all the things on the horse's saddle. My father needs this stuff for an important science experiment. I have to get it to him before the storm arrives, he added. He jumped on his horse and began to ride off. Thanks for helping, he shouted over his shoulder. Just then, Chip put his hand in his pocket. Oh no, he said. I must have dropped the key. I think that man took our key as well as his. The children ran into the shop. The man who was just in here took our keys by mistake. Biff told the shopkeeper. We need to find him. That's Will, said the shopkeeper. Will lives miles from here, but don't worry, said the shopkeeper. I am closing the store now. I live near Will's house, so I can take you there. Soon, the children were in man's wagon. We'll had a kite, Chip said nervously. I hope he won't fly his kite in the store. That won't be very dangerous. They could hear the rumble of thunder. The wind got stronger and stronger, and soon it began to rain. The children could see flashes of lightning in the distance. The storm was very close when the wagon reached Wills's house. Thanks for the lift, the children shouted as they jumped down. That's okay, said the shopkeeper, but get inside quickly. The children ran to the front door and began to knock loudly. There is no reply, said Biff. Let's look around the back of the house. Behind the house, Wills's father was standing in a big feet. He was looking up at a kite in the stormy sky. Oh no, gasped Kipper. Wills's father is flying the kite. Biff shouted over the sound of wind. Please get away from the kite string. It's dangerous, added Chip. Lightning is electricity. How do you know that? That's what I'm hoping to prove, called Wills's father. He began running towards the open door of the barn. The end of the kite string was tied to something inside the barn. Suddenly, there was a flash of light in the sky near the kite. There was a loud crackle as the lightning ran down the wet kite string. The children could see a shower of sparks at the bottom of the string. Will and his father jumped back. The key, cried Kipper. Minutes later, the storm had passed and the children went to the barn. You were right, Wills's father told Chip. Lightning is electricity. 
it went down the wet string and then through the ski. Kipper saw the key in the man's hand. It looked black and burned. Oh no, he said. What if the lightning has broken the key? Don't worry, it's just an old key, Will's dad said. No, that's our key, said Kipper with tears in his eyes. If it's broken, we'll be stuck here. That wasn't your key, said Will. He took something out of his pocket. This is your key. I took it by mistake, sorry. As soon as Biff took the key, it began to glow. Wilson's father looked excited. Why is that key glowing? He asked eagerly. Is it more electricity? It's hard to explain, said Chip with a smile. Before he could say any more, the magic took the children home. Back home, the storm was howling outside. The children went downstairs. I am glad we didn't try and fly a kite in the storm, said Kipper. A famous scientist did that once, said Dad. He was lucky not to get hurt. The end. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the Story Treasure. And I'll see you next time. Until we meet, please take care. Bye-bye.